On today's war strategy, the focus would be on overcoming rejection. The scripture would be Acts chapter 4, verse 11, and it says, This is the stone which was set at naught of you builders, which has become the head of the corner. Uh, the, the strategic lessons of today. The world see the people of God as rejects in society, but in God there is always the victory. Jesus was rejected by many while he was in the flesh, but now in his resurrection he reigns as the King of kings and Lord of lords of all the universe. Let us pray. Father, we thank you so much for reminding us that rejection does not mean that we are weak. Rejection does not mean that we have been oppressed. Rejection does not mean that we have been destroyed, O oh God. But rather, it is in rejection in which we are prepared, Father, for the promotion that is to come, not of this world, Father, but of the kingdom in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you so much for teaching us the lesson of your life how when you walk the earth oh god you, although you walk the earth you is not of the earth nor were you from the earth father but your kingdom was in heaven and you always taught the people to keep their eyes fixated on the life after here and so lord Though mankind did not understand much of what you said in the time of your life and thought that she was a reject of society as many try to kill you and thinking that you were worth nothing, O oh Lord. But you knew, Father, that ultimately that the rejection of this world was because of the fact that you are you was being opposed by the enemy. You was being you was facing great opposition by the devil that was trying to stop you from walking into your destiny. And so, Father, we thank you so much for reminding us that whenever we as a people of God are facing rejection by the world, it means that we are indeed gaining ground. We're gaining the victory. We're about to receive our breakthrough and walk into our destiny, O oh God. Because in the rejection of the world, it means that we have renounced the things of this world and... Um, in preparation to take possession of something that is far greater than what this world can ever offer. And so what the enemy does in his anger, O oh God, is that you have taught us that he will sit here and put obstacles in our ways, he will put slander in our ways, he will put oppression in our ways and persecution in our ways, because he knows that if we continue to fixate our eyes on you and keep pressing through the rejection, that we will receive our inheritance, O oh God. We receive the promise that you have for us. We will, rec we will receive the kingdom. And by receiving the kingdom, we stomp on the head of the snake and crush it in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you so much for reminding us that the more rejection we have in our lives because we are walking the path of the gospel, it means, Father, that greater is our inheritance and greater is our reward because greater is the opposition because of the greater anointing you wish to bestow upon your people. So I pray, Father, today that although the people of God will face much rejection, they are facing rejection because they are not of this world. And because they are not of this world, it means they are citizens of heaven. So may we take hold of this rejection, Father, in our lives, O oh God, and use it to empower us to... Um, to catapult us into our destiny and not be afraid anymore and nor be discouraged anymore by what the, what the world has to throw at us, Father. For we are we're now walking into victory. We are now walking in you. And we thank you so much for reminding us that the greater rejection, the greater opposition, the greater the promotion. And it's in Jesus' name we pray.